Hello everybody, Rado King here. Welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball C Dokkan Battle. So it is time. In about a few hours' time, Pan should be dropping over on Global Dokkan. And we are about to tell you guys if you guys should summon on that banner or not in this video. Obviously, there are plenty of videos that you guys can check out. Uh, but I hope that you know the members of the Red Rado Army can check out this video out and other people as well if you guys are interested. So if you guys are not members of the Red Rado Army, then that means that you guys are not subscribing to the channel. What are you doing? Make sure that you hit that big red subscribe button. I'm thinking of making that what are you doing kind of like the catchphrase of the channel. I don't know why. But um, either way, let's go ahead and jump in. Pan! The new Dokkan Fest after the worldwide download celebration is going to be dropping over on Global Dokkan in a few hours time. This can kind of be a little bit counterintuitive uh, for some people to save their Dragonstones and stuff like that. I believe that everybody should save their Dragonstones for important banners, for banners that have a lot of value. So this banner in particular, I don't think it has a lot of value. Therefore, I don't think you should summon on this banner. But for those who do want to summon or for those interested in summoning and don't know what to do, we will check and see because there was a data download uh, that happened throughout the entirety of the celebration. And I can be able to look that up in this video um, because there are tickets and I believe there's going to be a discount. Uh, you know, the usual discount summons and stuff like that. So Global has been doing it for the past couple of months. So let's go ahead and check and see. Right now we have Pan, uh, the goddess. Pan, oh my god, she's going to be so good. On so many events, man. Uh, Pan, really, really good, solid unit. Uh, we discussed her details, but we can go ahead and talk about her details again. Uh, Pan is really good. The only thing that is, she's going to be dependent with units that are like Trunks, Giru, or Goku. Uh, that's the only bad thing about it. Obviously, you can make a team with her with like a uh, bond of friendship that are in GT Heroes. We will have to check and see because Bond of Friendship is not the strongest of categories that have like GT Heroes allies. Uh, obviously Dragon Ball Seekers as well. This I don't think this leader skill covers a lot of ground for, for those units for exactly what this character in general wants you to do. They want you to have Trunks, they want you to have Giru or Goku on the team or all three of them. But not all three of those units might be on the Bond of Friendship category. They might be on Dragon Ball Seekers. We will have to check and see. I'm actually going to pop this category over here as well. So, her banner. That's another thing. We might see some changes in her banner. Depending on how Global wants to manage things out. Here's the thing. This banner includes Ginyu on the banner. Ginyu came out the Dokkan Fest before the anniversary here on Global, which uh, results to be in July, no, in June, June, mid-June, late, uh, late June, almost close to beginning of July. That was when Ginyu was in the, in the game. Or was it Raditz? Did Raditz came out before Ginyu? Yeah, Raditz had to come out before Ginyu. Now, I don't remember, I think Raditz was the banner before the Dokkan Fest, uh, for, before the, the anniversary. Because Raditz came after the, uh, the anniversary units on JP. So, yeah, okay, now I got it, now I got it. Uh, so possibly like May, April, uh, April and after a little bit of the beginning of May was the, uh, was that, that, was that the Golden Week celebration? And we got, yeah, dude, I, my memory is just dead. So after the Golden Week units, we got uh, Ginyu, and then after Ginyu, we got Raditz. I believe that's how it went. Uh, we'll have to go into the timeline of events. We can possibly check that here. Uh, but yeah, if we go over to the campaigns on Global, let me pop this in another tab so we can be able to check and see. Uh, you guys can be able to see years. Uh, let me go back because I, I think these these are randomly intertwined, I guess. I don't know. Because they have they have a weird schedule right here. This is not updated. At least I don't think so. Um, da, 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 da. Goku and Gohan Goten Day. This is the old world struggle. So basically, during this campaign, this word, we got these this banner right here. This was before the anniversary came out. 
So I believe the celebration before that is where we got Gingyu, right? Yeah, Gingyu came out on this celebration late May, mid middle of June. And then Goku and Piccolo came out and that filled the celebration right before the anniversary. So this was the this was the Lokan Fest before the anniversary. And we see him here. This is the banner that happened on JP. I don't think we will see this this unit in here. Unless they keep it the same. Here's the thing. If they keep it the same, then obviously these guys will be coming back again. Uh, because they were on Raditz's banner. Raditz's banner happened right in the middle of... Was it in the middle of... Uh, it had to be in the middle between Ginyu and Goku and Piccolo. That had to be. I, I think that's how it went. Uh, we don't have anything in regards to... Yeah, we don't have anything in regards to Raditz in here. Uh, but Ginyu came out mid-May, mid, mid, mid mid-July, stuff like that. Actually, no, mid, mid-May and mid-June. I Jesus, I'm all sorts of whacked. Uh, Goku, Gohan, and Goten, they, I doubt that this is when they came out. Because this is where they introduced the, uh, the, what? Oh, no, they didn't brought any banners in here. They just brought the new titles. Uh, if we go over here, maybe? This is where they brought in the, yeah, Goku and Gohan. This was when the whole, uh, Golden Week celebration happened. So... It had to be in the middle of this, right? Saiyan Day, Maja Vegeta. This was Goku and Vegeta, uh, Goku and Kid Buu. One of these celebrations had to be with Raditz, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways, the point is that Raditz's banner contained Trunks and Gogeta in there. We'll be a little bit quick for them to be back in the banner. And then Ginyu coming back into this banner... I don't see it as a plausible thing to, you know, see Ginyu again on this banner unless they make some drastic changes and be like, yeah, we're going to leave it the same. Don't worry. We're going to have Ginyu in here. If they do have Ginyu in the banner and you don't have Ginyu, please get him with coins. Don't don't try to summon on this banner uh, unless you are desperately in need of something in here. But Ginyu's banner... Uh, went up uh i mean ginyu is pretty good ginyu is pretty insane i don't know why i said ginyu's banner ginyu is pretty good the only thing is that i don't think that you should summon on this banner for you to try to get pan or ginyu just try to get ginyu with the coins and just be done with it um gogeta's pretty good but he's been featured on too many banners plus the tech gogeta i believe overshadows this man but he is still pretty important especially if you guys are going up a, uh, up against cell max um Goku, the the Dokkan Fest GT Goku and Vegeta, they're also gonna be there. They're pretty good. Now I did this, I will understand that they come back. Uh, but these guys, obviously, they came back already on Raditz's banner and Gingyu's banner was right uh, two banners before the anniversary. So uh, we'll check and see. Uh, I don't know if this is going to stay the same. We will possibly see it tonight. So gotta check on that. So Pan, obviously, let's go ahead and check the categories real quick. So we we do have a GT Super Saiyan 4 Goku in here. Or possibly a Goku that is on GT he, uh, or Goku GT, right? Is that what Pan demands? <laughs> yeah, allies whose name includes Goku GT attacking the same turn. So basically, Super Saiyan 4 Goku does not have GT on his name. Therefore, he will not be available to do that su unit super attack. So it has to be like a like this this GT Goku who they are going to get their ECA the Goku trunks and pan um, they're going to begin their ECA during the celebration I believe it's gonna be insane it's gonna be pretty good uh, already had them link level so I'm good to go with their uh, their showcases but I believe the GT Goku that they they kind of want you to run with him is this physical GT Goku down here um, this GT Goku he, he is still pretty good um, is he on Bond of Friendship? He is. So he will get a 200% leader skill uh, off of Pants's uh, off of Pants's leader skill. So that's going to be a pretty good run. Uh, Trunks and Giru, you don't need to worry. They obviously have a card themselves. So if you do pull this card alongside Pan, if you are planning to pull for Pan, uh, then obviously they're going to be pretty pretty good together. And 
that area or that section of the unit super attack is going to be fulfilled because of the trunk tank eagle card. But mm, it's uh, they're they're not that crazy though. They the trunk tank eagle card where are they at? They're right here. They're they're okay. They're gonna be okay for uh, for super battle and stuff like that, I believe. Right? So, da, 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 da. I mean they're they're a good support unit too. Um, and obtaining a lot of key spheres, that's how they make them even better. So, uh, the only thing is, though, you might... Uh, obviously, for int units, they only have the five dodge. So, for this unit to, you know, grace your your box and everything like that, you might have to pull some dupes for this guy. But never chase banner units. Do not chase banner units. Don't worry about them. Worry about this girl. Now... If you are intending to summon for Pan, keep in mind that her attack power is not going to be too high. So that kind of asks for dupes. This unit might... This unit, you might have to use dupes for this unit. For you to be able to to do well with her with her attacks and stuff like that. So, um, As the first attack in the turn, she's going to be having a pretty sweet damage reduction. But she needs to be on the first slot. And she needs to receive the attacks for her damage reduction to be active. Otherwise, if she super attacks and then an attack comes in afterwards, she will not have that damage reduction active anymore. Um, then after that, she gets key plus two, an attack plus 50%. That's the first attack in the turn. Uh, pretty good stuff. But obviously, keep in mind that having her alongside GT heroes and alongside these guys is going to be better. They're going to be pretty useful. Uh, and also, keep in mind that you need to have a Goku on rotation because of this uh sort of thing you know uh, these the the active skill for you to be able to use it you need to have a goku on the team do not worry because that gt dokkan fest goku is going to be in that category so you're going to be pretty set on that so uh, they're not bad their links are pretty iffy battlefield diva the innocence um they're not going to be linking too well especially with that uh gt dokkan fest goku uh that dokkan fest goku let me see so he is having, so he has Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, GT, and Fierce Battle. She will share four links with Pan. But uh, are they enough, basically? Are, is this going to be enough for Pan to be able to do great? She has all in the family, though, which is pretty good. Uh, but for her to do some really insane amount of damage, she needs, she needs dupes. So... That might be possibly one of the things that might affect your summons. Because going for more copies of her is going to be pretty bad. So, um, Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the data download that just came out. Uh, well, not just came out. They came out earlier this morning with the app update. Shouts to Proton. Amazing fella. Check him out. Down the link in the description. Uh, you guys can be able to see this, uh, this little tweet. And also... Uh, the profile for Proton. Check them out. Uh, there's going to be a new promo movie. Obviously, they do this with every single Dokkan Fest. Uh, that's going to be Tech GT Pan and in GT Trunks and Giru. Pretty good. There's going to be also the ECAs that are going to be coming out uh, for this celebration. So we will have the GT finally for the Super Strike card, the AJL Kid Vegeta. I believe we had that missing for quite a while. So good that we're, they're, they're bringing it back. There's going to be the ECA for the Tech Super Saiyan GT Goku and the Hyper Middle Rildo, as you guys can see this event right here. Uh, it's a pretty easy event. You guys are going to need to farm uh, some of these cards, which is going to be provided to you guys. I don't know if there's going to be a Dragon Ball story, uh, which is very doubtful. But there's going to be the, sto uh, the story event where you guys can be able to farm the SR cards for these guys. And then they'll kind of awaken them into SSRs and then... T wars and then get them ECA. They're not bad. They're they're actually pretty good. So um, I suggest you you grind them. Uh, there's gonna be an ESBR stage, uh, stage 33. I believe it's time travelers. Uh, we're gonna be getting that. So I'm gonna be doing that on stream. Uh, there it is, right here. Dokkan Fest ticket. They're gonna give us a ticket. Uh, you guys can be able to purchase that and be able to summon for Pan. Um, there's also uh, several non-translated assets here. So basically, we have some assets for the uh, ECAs that are going to be coming in soon. For example, the Trunks and Mai, the Yellow Trunks and Mai, the Girls ECA. That might be coming down during the celebration, the Girls ECA. 
I, I fully expect that during the celebration. Uh, the Goku Black and Samasu card getting an EC8. Uh, then Veg uh, Vegito and Rose getting their ECAs as well. But I do believe that that's the non-translated cards. Basically, we might get that during the Vegeta and Trunks celebration, which will happen most likely on the Thank You celebration. As you guys can see, Vegeta and Trunks are down here. So, um, And then Golden Frieza, which should be coming possibly mid-November. Uh, I fully expect November to be this celebration with the resurrection of F Blue Boys. Uh, we also got the Chain Battle for... We got Chain Battle? Yeah, for Samasu, I guess. But obviously, this is during the celebration in there. We got the assets for the Pan movie. Uh, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff that, that is over here. So uh, there's like support memories, ECAs, skill orbs, uh, chain battles, the Chi Light and Fasha cards. Bunch of stuff that might be coming in later on. So pretty good. Uh, there's the promo movie, as you guys can see. This is for you to summon on the Pan banner. Uh, just showing you guys, hey, Pan is here. Um, there's obviously the active skill and stuff like that. As you guys see, I would have loved that the overlay that my boy Kensei, shout out to Kensei, uh, would have had this uh, this little end screen. I believe they're going to show it, maybe? No. Uh, the end screen that they have with uh, Pan doing the thumbs up with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I would have loved that, but sadly the assets were not available. Uh, there's the Dokkan event uh, where you can be able to get the medals. The Super Strikes uh, Kid Vegeta. Pretty easy to farm. All the, uh, Just get this done. It's pretty simple. Uh, then the Super Saiyan Goku and the Hyper Metal Rildo, pretty good as well. Uh, there's the ECA stages. Um, then there's the Time Travelers only Extreme Super Battle Road stage. Uh, again, we're going to be doing that on stream. I believe it's going to be pretty simple, especially with like the Dragon Ball Heroes uh, units. Shouts to Ningen. We're going to be pushing that Heroes agenda. So, uh, Golden Frieza. These are the, uh, the non-translated units. They basically are in the game now. So we just have to wait and see when they're released and stuff like that. So they can make it a little bit easier on the assets, maybe. Then there's the new support memories. They're not translated yet. The Dokkan Meds, the Dokkan Medals and stuff like that. So uh, there are a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff that came in with this uh, with this data download and stuff like that. So there's the like the banners and all that good stuff. Uh, there we go. You guys, uh, you guys have been asking when these uh, when this guy or when these guys are gonna come back. There you go. <laughs> uh, that's when they're coming back. And there you go, multiple of these, like, baton battle stuff, multiple, multiple, multiple stuff uh, being provided. So, um, yeah. Uh, should you summon for Pan? I, I know, I made this very long and purposely. Did I did that purposely? I don't know. Should you summon for Pan? No. You should not summon for Pan. You should only summon on banners that provide you with a lot of value. For example, the anniversary banners, those were a lot of good value. The worldwide download celebration banners, those were also a lot of good value banners. Those are the only banners that I suggest you guys should summon on. But on these types of banners right here, uh, where Pan, I mean, uh, uh, again, gorgeous, amazing Pan, where she's going to be a goddess in all the Dokkan events and everything in general. No, it's not. I don't think you should summon on this banner. If you guys want to get Ginyu, if Ginyu is on the banner and in the red coin shop, pick him up. That's possibly what I'm going to do as soon as I finish my summons and stuff like that. Because I don't... I do want to get more dupes for Pan. Let's say, for example, I pull a dupe... Uh, let's say I pull a copy on the tickets. And then I do a multi on the discounts on the banner. And then I pull another copy. I will be incredibly happy. Because I don't know... I don't think that's ever going to happen. But if that is the scenario, then 69% Pan. I pick up Ginyu with the coins and I'm good to go. I am out, baby. But... I don't think that's ever going to happen because banners hate me. <laughs> so, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't think you should summon for Pan, but are you going to summon for Pan? If Regardless of what I'm saying. Like, you don't care what I'm saying at all. You're just going ham on the Pan banner or just going to be summoning in for the discounts or doing the tickets. Let me know. Uh, Pan is really good. We're going to be doing a stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm recording this as before the banner for Pan comes out. So I'm going to be live for you guys. Um, I'm gonna make it so we, I, I'm going to do my initial summons video uh, earlier in the morning. That way you guys can be able to have that. 
Uh, and then hopefully, if we get pan, 55% showcase video, all that good stuff. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys gonna summon for pan? Are you guys not gonna summon for pan? Are you guys gonna pick up Ginyu with the points and that's it? Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like and enjoy, please hit that big red subscribe button. What are you doing, my boy? What are you doing? Hit that big red subscribe button. It's still red. And you got you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, my boy. You gotta you gotta make sure you click it, you know? You gotta make sure you click on that button. So you can support the channel greatly, become a Red Rattle Army member by just subscribing into the channel. And hitting that like button is pretty good. Why? Because it recommends the video to other people who like to play Dokkan Battle. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.